Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab. In, in an earlier video, I walked through how to create a simple Hello World skill for Alexa. And in this video, I'll show you how to make that skill a little bit smarter by adding intents. So what are intents? Well, intents represent the actions that your skill can perform based on what a user is saying. And we implement those by writing code handlers and then mapping those code handlers to what the user says inside of the developer council. And that's done through a combination of the intent schema and the sample utterances down here. And we set these up when we created our hello world skill originally. We have this one intent, the hello intent, and then some built-in intents. And we have a single sample utterance, which is just hello, but we didn't deal with that inside of our Lambda function. So our code right now just says hello world when the skill is launched and for anything else it says sorry i don't understand it's handled by this function here so let's test it out just as a, a starting point so alexa open hello world alexa open hello world hello world hello sorry i don't understand so right now even though we have the utterance hello defined and we have it mapped to the hello intent which we've got also defined up here in our intent schema we are not able to do anything with it because we don't have a handler inside of our lambda function so we're going to change that up and that's why right now this function is all that uh, that we've got so it's responding with sorry i don't understand but we can change that very easily by just creating a function for the hello intent and so I'm gonna do that like that and uh, that's all we need to do uh, we probably want to change the response so it's a little more meaningful say hello uh, nice to meet you and maybe the launch request needs to be changed to hello you say so we'll prompt the user to say hello when the skill is launched, if that's not included as part of the launch phrase. Uh, and we will change the reprompt to, can you say hello? And the reprompt is, uh, if the user doesn't respond, Alexa is going to prompt them or reprompt them with this statement here. So I'm gonna, deploy this and then we're going to test it so this deployment script i talked about in the last video too it's just using the aws cli to push the lambda function code out it just makes it simpler okay that is all pushed let's test it out alexa open hello world hello can you say hello 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 nice to meet you so now we have everything working the way that it should. Uh, this utterance, hello, is mapped to the hello intent, which we defined up here in our intent schema, and finally mapped that over here to a handler that is responding with hello, nice to meet you. So that's it. Let me just walk through it with a brand new intent just to reinforce the, the whole process. So we'll create a a new intent and um, I'll call this one um, people in space and I'm going to use this for another video that's why I'm using this intent name so um, we need an utterance And the utterance that I'm going to use is how many people are in space. So now I've got that. I've got my people in space intent that I've added. Now I just need to handle that inside my code. And I'm going to do that the same way that I just added the hello intent function. So this one is going to be people in space. If I could type. Uh, I still can't type S. P-A-C, -E. okay. And right now, we're gonna, in a future video, we're gonna use this for something, but right now we'll say, sorry, I don't know how many 
people in space. Okay, and let's push that out and then we'll test it. So now I'm gonna use this as part of the, uh, the launch phrase. So I'll say, Alexa, ask hello world how many people are in space. Sorry, I don't know how many people are in space. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, so that worked for the most part. If I could spell it would have worked better, but that's fixed now. So that's it. Um, that is mapping your intents in the intent schema and utterances to a handler inside of your Lambda function. And this is a, a real, real simple intro to it. In the next video, I'm gonna talk about uh, custom slots and custom slots allow you to collect parameter values that you use inside of your handlers. And again, I'll get into that in the next video, but hopefully this video helped you understand how to add simple intents. If you found it useful, please like the video and uh, subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those also and I'll respond just as quickly as I can. Thanks so much.